Sometimes I've heard you talk about management as a liberal art. Could you develop a little bit about what that really means, what that means to you, and how you see it playing out? Sure, and, and again, I must refer to Peter, <laughs> because that was something that he penned. And in the process of doing that, he was recognizing that as we lead and manage in organizations, we don't lead and manage things. We lead and manage people. And there, therefore, if you want to be effective in leading and managing people, you need to seek and take some time to understand what makes up the human condition. Who are we? Where do we come from? Where are we going? How is our job affecting us in the kind of people we're becoming? Is it an additive or is it attractive? And why? As you probe that and begin to think about where the answers are, the answers are typically, usually, in much of what we learn in a liberal arts curriculum, uh, in uh, our social sciences and humanities. And Peter would then go on to say that in order to um, understand the human condition, you need to also recognize that there's a spiritual dimension to the human condition. That's where character comes. And Drucker, in his own way, was raising the question of God, which is another whole subject, but it's something that's an important subject. Wow. So you're saying then that management is more than manipulating toward the bottom line, Yeah. but it does involve caring for the people. Right. You know, we often, we often refer to management as getting the right things done through others, which it is. It's, that's a very important part of it. But what's happening to the people that are getting the right things done? Right. And uh, are they being developed as whole people? Are they really treated as the subject of work, not just the object of work? Not just a pair of hands, but someone who is actually becoming in a positive direction or a negative direction under your management and leadership. How do you measure that in your bottom line? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's, it's something that is measurable in results. And to that extent, if we're talking about that as a bottom line, I think there is a cooperative effort that has to produce a result, or it's a waste of time. Uh, so I think results are very important. And uh, I have found that as you focus on the person and their development, uh, they then pick up the importance of focusing on their colleagues and their development. So you end up building a team. Uh, and it can be a very effective team as far as producing results. Mm.